the first lab report that was done, um, this is a continuation of it because I did not include everything that I needed to. I did not include the proper screenshot here. I included this one, but I believe I need more information, so I'm going to go back here. And when I was going back here, I noticed that instead of it saying OK, it says not modified. And the professor told me that it was because that my cache was not cleared. So instead of getting it from the Wireshark server, it was getting it from the cache of my computer. And that's why it says not modified, 304 not modified. 304 not modified meaning, meaning that it didn't reach out to the server and that it just reached into the cache to get it. So now I'm going to go into here and I'm going to clear my cache. So we can clear this data. Close. The, uh, well, we'll leave that open for now, but we're going to restart the capturing for Wireshark. I'm going to go back into Chrome. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to refresh the page. Once it does that, it says OK text HTML, which we wanted because our cache is cleared. If we were to run it again, um, if we were to do this again like this, it's not modified again because we have it in our cache. And so that is it for the update here. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this. And I'm going to replace it with this screenshot here because it is some new data. We're just going to open this up. We are going into here. We're going to right click, click copy, and we just want to copy the value. We can go back here and we are going to paste it in here. And this is the time since requested. We're going to go back down here. So what we need to do for this one is take the screenshot again uh, with all the information. So we want to hit with the OK. And so we want all of this information taken down. We're going to go to File. We are going to go to Print. And we just want the selected packages only. And we're going to print this. And I'm going to send it to my OneNote. And then I'm going to replace this in the lab report. And then I'm going to pull this up after I've stopped the simulation, which we should have done earlier, and just take a screenshot of this and we'll paste it in the lab report right underneath it. And so that is the completion for this lab.